Industry Insider coming to you from Cherry Rock 014. Joining me, uh, the lads from Don Fernando. How are you, gentlemen? Very well. Gruntled, mate. We're gruntled. Very well. Nice stein you have there, sir. Is that a stein you take with you on all the uh, trips? Everywhere I go. Have you got? Have you got the? Have you got a name for that stein? No. <laughs> I have a, co I have a cocktail Ninja shape fist. called the Oracle. The Oracle. So I believe you should name that stein. I'm yet to. I'm yet to give it a name, but uh, yeah. Perhaps, leave, it, leave it with me. Perhaps the fans of uh, Don Fernando should uh, write in and, and uh, maybe make a few suggestions. Maybe we'll call it Don. Don? Maybe. The Don. Is Don, Don is good. Don's good. Watch this space. Absolutely. Uh, what's going on? How are you? You good? Yeah, good, good man. Bad. Very Just well. fucking melted some faces. And now we're going to melt a few fucking drinks. And... In your face. I've been, I've, been, I've been melting drinks all afternoon. I think yeah. I've melted a few too many too early, to be honest. We're going to see classic <laughs> Benny Pitcher. No, well, the, I don't know what you're talking Benny about. Benny Pitcher at 2am on a Saturday night. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> let's move on, shall we? Um, we need to talk about the band. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the new record out. It's uh, Day of the Dead, English translation. I'll be fucked if I know how to say it. Is it Spanish? Dia yes. de los muertos. There you go. Yeah. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. How's it been? How's it been received? Yeah, well, well, yeah. I mean, it's been out for a while now. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, so we're just well, we're working on a new one now. But you got, that's your, the third record. You're working on the third one. Yeah, yeah. as we speak, drums are tracked, and we're just we're gonna find some time to uh, put everything else on top, and you know, get the ball rolling again. Yeah. How is South America? Hard nut to crack, I believe, and uh, you guys will receive well over there. Yeah, yeah, it just went really well. For fucking. They're, they're like here, they, they love good music and they're not afraid to show you that they like it. So, not so much as in France. When they, when, when the dudes like it, you, like your gig in France, they come up and kiss you after the show. We didn't have any of that. Um, Johnny was a bit sad that that didn't happen. But, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Johnny. It happened when he was around. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, they love it over there, man. Uh, we played in Argentina a few shows. We played about a dozen gigs in Brazil. And everywhere we went, they loved it. They're just happy to see um, four mugs from, from Melbourne come over and, uh, and make the effort to, to go over and play some shows. So, uh, yeah, it went really well. Everywhere we played, it, it went really well. Yeah. Now you've, uh, you, you, you've played Cherry Rock. Uh, it's, uh, it's the last one in ACDC Lane. Have, have you got any um, got any memories from uh, Cherry Rocks that you've been to previous, not as a band? Yeah, yeah, some really good ones. Um, yeah, uh, Electric Mary went off last time yeah, when they played here. I remember seeing that. I can't remember what else. Fu yeah, Manchu, of course, yeah. fuck yeah. Um, King Parrot last year, well, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Truck Fighters was great. Unita was awesome. G'day. And um, <laughs> as, you, as your singer. Um, yeah, yeah, some really great bands playing this. You know, it's, a, it's a great institution. It's a pity its format's going to change, but uh, maybe it'll be bigger and better next time. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I also think, uh, you know, I've got to chuck in now. I was talking to, you know, Hound Dog earlier, as we do the annual chat. Before everything kicks off, airborne for a hundred bucks in 2007. What a fucking bargain! What, what do you reckon? I reckon they're worth 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, guys. <laughs> so tell us a little bit uh, more about the third record. What, what, what can? Uh, what are we going to expect from that? Um, probably, if you take, I suppose, the first two albums and uh, the I mean, best of both, like, really. Yeah, like I think the second album went, you know, in a heavier direction and. The third album is probably going in heavier, but in another way, you know, like probably um, like some more, like some slower tunes, more doomier, heavier kind of stuff in that regard. Um, but also some quick ones, you know. We we love writing the quick kind of rocking numbers and then changing it up with some slower kind of real heavy kind of stonery stuff as well. So yeah, that's what that's just kind of we're not yeah. overthinking it too much, just doing it. We didn't consciously think what are we going to do for the next album. They're basically the next. 10 or 12 songs we've come up with so i just gonna be the record yeah we're not gonna like fuck now what are we gonna do what's what's gonna be good for us to do we didn't do that we just this is the next bunch of songs 